What's up everybody? Today is Sunday and today is the holiest day of the week in America. Everybody gets holy on Sunday. I'm watching this guy mumble through the Bible. Look at it. The Bible. B-U-Y-B-U-L-L. Bible. For example, of the return of Christ and our future rewards. Somebody's Watch this. He gonna just mumble. He ain't gonna say shit. Watch. Let me rewind it. It assures us, for example, of the return of Christ and our future rewards. Somebody says, well, Jesus died and is gone. Well, here's what he says. He says. See? What did he say? In the 14th. He didn't say it shit. assures us. Watch. For example, of the return of Christ and our future rewards. Somebody says, well, Jesus died and is gone. Well, here's what he says. He says. See? He didn't say shit. In the 14th chapter of John. Is a beautiful, beautiful passage. See? And we, most of us probably know it by heart. But you... See, if, well, well, well. Like I told you, people a, people pick and choose the parts of the Bible that they like. The parts that appeal to their imagination. Now watch. And our future rewards. If somebody says, well, Jesus died and is gone. Well, here's what he says. He says, in the 14th chapter of John, is a beautiful, beautiful passage. And we, most of us probably know it by heart. But you... If you have no problem, that you might look at that. He says, do not... See, everybody got the Bible earmarked. They pick and choose. They flip through the whole book. They don't read it consistently. Now watch this. Let your heart be troubled. He says, if you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Listen to this. Jesus, wait a minute, who died on the cross, rose from the grave, seated the Father's right hand, said, in my... Now Jesus died on the cross and rose from the grave. Now where is he? He died on the cross and rose from the grave. Well, where is he? That means Jesus is a mummy. <laughs> Jesus is a mummy. Jesus is a vampire. He done died on the cross and rose from the grave. Let's finish. Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm coming back to receive you to myself. Now, he's, he's going to come back for this one, that one, this one, that one, that one. And one of these days, he's coming back to wrap up all of civilization. You don't know Christ. Uh, Kunta Kente waiting. Everybody waiting for Jesus to come back, and he ain't get back yet. Since you're a Savior, you don't have any hope. The worst thing that could happen to you is to die without Jesus. And you, listen, you'll be a fool not to receive Christ as your Savior. You're hearing the truth of the word of the living God. That's his interpretation. But like I always say, if you believe that Jesus is coming back to crush the wicked, then I want everybody in this audience to give me all their money out their bank account. Give me their whole life savings and give me their money. Because you ain't going to need no money up in heaven. And I want everybody to give me their car keys too. Because you ain't going to need no car in heaven. Everybody flies around in heaven. Let me see what this guy is saying. But nobody's did it yet. And he's the one who said, I'm coming to receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also, if you're one of his children. If you if you want of Jesus' children. And the Bible always gives you like this perception, like you're a child. You're a baby. That's what it's, that's why it always says, uh, precious Lord, carry me. You know, I'm in your hands. It always gives you the perception that G Jesus is a big giant and you're a little baby. And you depend on him to carry you instead of taking instead of taking things and uh situations in your own hand. That's what the, that's another thing the Bible